going according to plan? I think you know if you look according to the, the results, if you look at the log position, it's not according to the plan we had. But I think everyone uh, is very cognizant of the fact uh, the project began with a very deliberate approach. And I think if having a new coach. This is why the Glamour Boys will not win the league. Kaiser Chiefs have officially confirmed the season-long loan of 24-year-old Colombian striker Jason Gonzalez from Bolivian club Real Santa Cruz. The story was broken by ultra-reliable footballing journalist Lorenzo Kula via Ediski Times about the Glamour Boys' new acquisition. I personally have no problems with Kaiser Chiefs adding another striker to their roster, but the most concerning and mind-bending thing about this transfer is the decision making behind the deal. Yes, Gonzalez has been on fire, scoring eight goals in his last 10 games for the Bolivian outfit, but will his form translate to the DSTV Premiership? Could the Colombian rival Peter Shalulile's 23 goals or Orlando Pirates Munapule Saleng's 15 strikes from last campaign? According to reports, Chiefs could pay up to 4.3 million rands for the Gonzalez loan deal which would be broken up into a loan fee that would be paid to Real Santa Cruz and the rest would go to cover the players' wages for the season. Why, Dad, and why? This why? is business. This is my swag. I know, but I did business. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> this is business. The Glamour Boys are said to have also inserted an option to make the deal permanent within the loan agreement. But we've seen this movie before. A foreign striker comes to Naturena and within a season or two he's shown the door. Look at Samir Nurkovic who joined the club in 2019 and by 2022 he had parted ways with the Naturena based outfit. The latest case of this and the most evident proof of the poor planning from the Chiefs board is the termination of Caleb by Benyamana's contract. The striker still had one year left on his current deal with the Naturena based outfit. Eight goals in 21 games in his maiden season for Kaiser Chiefs wasn't really a bad return in my humble opinion. But the striker would go on to be told that the club were moving in a different direction just 12 months after his arrival. Chiefs would go on to freeze him out of the squad, not allowing the Burundi international to return for pre-season training with the rest of his teammates. But the real reason why Chiefs wanted Ben Yamana off their books and were willing to pay him to leave the club was to open up one of those precious foreign base slots. The PSL only allows five foreign players per squad, with Tatian Dutlokwe, Edmison Dove, Edson Castillo and Christian Saile all regarded as crucial squad members, Caleb had to go. And with the open slot, the Glamour Boys can now move with the registration of Gonzalez, who is due to arrive and be officially presented by the club before the end of August. I understand maybe Caleb didn't really have any suitors out in the market and the club felt they had to move on and find a player better suited for Malifenseki's vision moving forward, but it still feels rushed and unplanned from one of the biggest clubs in the country. If Chiefs are going to spend 4 million rands on a low knee and another 2 million rands just to get Caleb out of the club, why not use the same funds to go out and get a young, proven PSL striker who can get you a few goals. I know finding the ladder is not an easy thing, as young, proven PSL strikers don't just grow on trees. Chiefs were linked with a move for Cape Town City's Kanisa Mayo earlier in the window, but the deal couldn't be agreed, as John Comites wanted a king's ransom for Mayo. That there's the inherent relationship with Kaiser Chiefs from the Kanisa family, so we, we, we know this. You know, Mayo's value is in excess of $2 million, in my opinion. And uh, we're not going to compromise uh, and, and, and sell, sell ourselves short. 
and Chiefs weren't willing to meet that evaluation. Ikram Reynas was another striker that was on the Amakosi wish list. 15 goals from the Stellenbosch striker landed him on the Glamour Boys radar. Reynas is more than just a goal scorer, having contributed 8 assists in his most prolific season in the DSTB Premiership. Reynas would perfectly dovetail with his former teammate in Ashley Dupria. But the Glamour Boys would find it very difficult to get him out of the Winelands as the striker recently rejoined Stellenbosch on a two and a half year deal. Transfermarkt currently values Reynas at 22.7 million rands, with the Winelands outfit having already sold one of their star players in Junior Mendieta to the Brazilians for a hefty 12 million rand transfer. The Stallies are sitting pretty and currently don't need to sell. Let's take a quick moment just for hypothetical. Imagine Chiefs with this front three, Mayo, Reynas and Dupree. Tell me that duo doesn't score 30 goals between them. Tell me that front three doesn't strike fear in every single DSTV Premiership side. Tell me that front three doesn't go head to head and compete with the Mamelodi Sundowns Monopoly. But we live in reality. And the reality is that Chiefs brought in a 30-year-old journeyman who couldn't keep his side from getting relegated despite scoring 17 goals. A striker that was brought in to be a frontman and get goals but is actually a winger. And a 19-year-old academy product who hasn't even featured in a dozen games for the Glamour Boys. Let that sink in. Will the 6'2 Colombian striker hit the ground running? Will he be able to gel with the squad? Will he embed himself in Malif Ntsike's system? There's so many questions and factors that affect foreign players off and on the pitch. The language barrier could be a big thing, but with Castillo in the squad, Gonzalez will at least have someone to help him acclimatize and guide him on how things work at Naturena. Other factors like work visas and homesickness could play a major role in the success of a player. But guys, let me know down in the comments what are your opinions on the Gonzalez loan deal. Will this work out for the Glamour Boys or will this be another failed foreign-based experiment made by the Kaiser Chiefs board? Will Jason Gonzalez flop? Let me know in the comments below.